You know, I've got pictures of him above my bed and stuff like that, and he just laughed. He wasn't like... Right guys, so welcome back to our YouTube. So I put up an Instagram, a kind of open Q&A box. I said I'd answer them, so I've wrote them out. Let's see what you've got. So first question, what are your goals in the sport? So my goal in the sport, which I think is achievable, is to be top 10 at my next World's Strongest Man. That's my first goal. So that's like my two year plan, top 10 at Worlds. My three and four year plan is to be top five at World's Strongest Man. Um, yeah, pretty much that's my goal. That's been my goal since I got into this. Um, when I first started training, like I said, I just was doing it to lose a bit of weight. I was kind of in a rut. Um, I wouldn't have even said my goal was to win a comp, but you know, now, kind of three years in, I want to be top five at World's Strongest Man. And I, I genuinely think now, the way my training's going, um, I can achieve that. So yeah, that's my goal. What do you think about the Giants Live Women Show? So this is amazing. So those of you that have, haven't heard yet, Giants Live and Official Strongman are running Britain's Strongest Women. It's going to be a ticketed show, Doncaster Dome. It's going to be absolutely phenomenal. Um, I'm so glad to see like the women in the sport, the weight classes in the sport, getting a big stage. And you know what? People want to see it. You know, not everybody just wants to see open weight men um, competing. They want to see women. They want to see unders. They want to see a variety of things. So yeah, fair place to Giants Live. Fair place to Official Strongman. I'm sure it'll be streamed on OfficialStrongman.com. I'm more than certain you'll be able to buy tickets from GiantsLive.com. So get behind the women, support them, and uh, yeah, I look forward to going and watching a great show. What is your deadlift goal? So my current deadlift goal is 454 kilo, which is a thousand pounds. So that's what I'm training for just now. Ideally, I'm going to pull that on April 1st at my next competition. I've been putting in the work, you see on my Instagram, I'm training hard for this, it's something I want. I'm not missing a session, I'm not missing a meal, I am, I'm trying my best, <laughs> you know. If I go there and it doesn't happen, back to the drawing board, but I genuinely don't see any reason why it won't happen. I just pulled 400 for two. Last week, this week I done a kind of deload, next week I'm ready for a huge pull, rest and off to the comp. Who is your coach? So my coach just now is MST Systems. So Shane is my coach. He coaches me on pretty much everything. He's really good at working with me. There's things I know about myself. There's things I know work for me. And Shane's also good at educating me in new ways, new methods. You know, it's not just five sets of five makes you stronger nowadays. There's, you know, way, way, way more ways to periodize. So yeah, Shane's really good at keeping me kind of focused, keeping me not doing too much of the wrong thing, which I think we can all fall into habits of. Like if I really love training stones, I would train stones twice a week. But I'm good at stones, I don't really need to be training them twice a week. I should be training log twice a week, I should be training dumbbell press. So yeah, um, Shane's really good at keeping my, keeping my effort and energy focused in the right direction. What was it like meeting Brian Shaw? So, World's Strongest Man last year, I was probably more excited about meeting Brian Shaw than going to World's Strongest Man. And everybody tells you, you know, never to meet your heroes, and nah, they're wrong. Like, Brian was so polite, takes time for everyone, um, just such a professional in the sport, absolutely, yeah, such a professional, like, you, you wouldn't believe it. You know, I kind of met him and me and Pa were joking about that, you know, I've got pictures of him above my bed and stuff like that. And he just laughed. He wasn't like, shut up, you wee weirdo. He was just, he was just funny, you know. Um, a couple of the events, I had to kind of like borrow chalk off him. And he was like in the zone and I was a bit like, fuck. And he asked this guy for chalk. And he was just so like, yeah, man, there's my chalk, you know, crack on. Um, so yeah, genuinely. And then obviously I met him again at the Shop Classic. Looked after me really well. 
amazing run comp. Um, yeah, genuinely. If you get the chance to meet Brian Shaw or go to a VIP or one of his seminars if he's over, you're going to be very humbled by his um, by his humbling kind of personality. Yeah. Do you get nervous pre-show? Absolutely, everyone does. If you're not getting nervous, if you're not getting excited, you probably don't give a fuck. I get nervous, I get anxious, I get a lot of things. Um, but yeah, enjoy it. Enjoy the nerves, enjoy when the nerves turn to adrenaline. I love when the adrenaline turns to strength. I love the full process. Um, it's part of it, it's part of the excitement. What do you think about the Stoltman's performance at the Arnold's? I actually cannot believe, cannot believe some of the hate the guys are getting. They're human, yeah? They are competing in the heaviest comp under the toughest circumstances with arguably the best in the world any day. You know, they've just came off a long off season a comp warming up, you know, with some of the best in the world. Yeah, <laughs> I think it's absolutely insane that anyone could badmouth them, you know. This is a sport, it's a game, like, you know, if you support the best football team and they win every single weekend, there is going to be a weekend where they lose. That's just, it's just life, you know, there is going to be a weekend where they didn't feel right or something happens. That is life, they are two humans. Um, plus, like, nobody knows the politics, you don't know if they were holding back, don't know if they were saving energy for worlds, we don't know the ins and outs of their lives, so, um, yeah, I think it's pretty crazy that people would even be bad-mouthing them, you know, the guys compete however many times a year, and they're not going to do a bad performance, everybody's there to win, so, get off their back, assholes, kind of. How many days do you train? So I train Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and then a day at the weekend I do my events. So I do a pressing day, a deadlift day, a secondary pressing day, because guess what? I need to press more. And with my secondary pressing day, I do upper back, and then I go into events um, at the weekend when I'm just training either conditioning or events for a comp. So that's like my lifting days, and then most days I try and do a bit of cardio, whether it's hitting my 10,000 steps or, you know, ski erg or, you know, a bit of row machine. Shane's very big on cardiovascular health, and it really paid off at Brits on the loading medley. You know, I was only a couple of seconds behind Adam Bishop, who is fast as fuck, boy. So yeah, pretty happy. Are you doing the Shaw Classic, Shaw Classic Opens? I will be doing the qualifier. Uh, I'm fairly certain I'll qualify, but I don't know if I will go to Colorado. Uh, flights were expensive there. Um, I'm very fortunate that most of the shows I do pay for my flights and accommodation. Shaw Classic is a chance to qualify for the Shaw Classic so the Shaw Classic Open is a chance to qualify for the Shaw Classic. So essentially it's like a, an amateur comp. So you pay when we're there, pay hotels, quite rightly, you earn your spot at the final, and then you're treated, you know, like a king when you go as an athlete. Everybody's treated really well. The comp is ran to the highest of standards. The warm-up equipment's perfect. The, the staff are perfect. The refs are perfect. Kerry and Brian, literally run this show, not by themselves, they've got a good team around them, but I mean, they're so hands-on, it's crazy. Brian Shaw's competing at night, but in the morning, he's making sure like all the rookies and men and women that are doing the opens, have got everything they need. You know, there's physio, there's hot and cold, there's different types of physio, we're not just talking, I mean, there's, there's everything you can imagine. It is such a phenomenal show. Um, so yeah, if funds allow, definitely I'll be there to redeem my piss poor performance from last year. Why is Pa Dwyer always injured? Um, well, Pa likes to do dumb shit. He likes to jump onto tyres. He likes to do 
barbell throws with a split jerk into a trampoline bounce into a stone load medley. I think Pa probably gets injured just loving life and being Pa. So, yeah, I would say, yeah, Pa's just Pa Dwyer, you know. I think that's the reason Pa gets injured. Um, are you and Ryan long lost brothers? So, I'm assuming it's Ryan Bennett, and I think we are long lost brothers. I met, Brian, uh, I met Ryan at SCL for the first time last year, and we giggled like schoolgirls, the whole comp. We had such a laugh. We were there to compete against each other. We actually drew. Um, yeah, same at Brits, with a good laugh, although I beat him at Brits, because, you know, hench as fuck boy. But, yeah, Ryan's brilliant. He's a, a kind of newcomer. Yeah, that was his first Giants live show. He'd done amazing. More than certainly will be at other Giants live shows. More than certainly will win England's Strongest Man again. Yeah, lovely guy. Last question. What was your mission in Italy? So I've been to Italy twice this month. But why? Hmm. First time I may or may not have done a stone record. And the second time I may or may not have done a keg over bar record. So you'll have to keep a wee eye on our YouTube and once it's aired on Italian television, we can show you my mission in Italy. So yeah, they're the questions we get sent in. Unfortunately, I couldn't answer them all. Some of them were rude. Some of them were rude. Some of them were so rude that even I was a bit like, ugh. Some of them were just damn right naughty. But um, yeah, there was lots of questions. So I picked the kind of a wee mix fees. Um, Thank you for watching. Thank you for your support. Please like, please subscribe. Um, put in the comments anything you like. Do you know what? Put a fucking jobby emoji. I don't care. It all helps. YouTube's like this algorithm little scientist and everything you do helps me. So thank you. Take care. Have a good week.